Blood Blockade Battlefront is one of my favorite shows ever, right next to Soul Eater. The problem is, when I tried to make a video talking about it its entirety, I kind of got really distracted talking about a bunch of tangents that don't really matter. So because of that, I've been sitting on a video for about two weeks that's only been about half edited. So I figured I'd narrow my discussion down to something a lot smaller, that way I can encompass why I like the show, but also remain pretty focused. And the characters that I chose that I think will best help me do this are the twins Mary and William Macbeth, better known as White and Black. Some context. The world this story takes place in is known as Hell Salem's Lot, a version of New York City that was devoured by the Alter World, or at least in between being devoured. Midway through, a family of psychics stopped the invasion, creating this in-between space known as Hell Salem's Lot. Now, there's also magic in this universe, namely psychic powers and thing called blood arts. Blood arts essentially allow you to control your blood to create various effects, such as making weapons, enhancing physical strength, or um, whatever this is. You got Our story begins at the start of the collapse. The Macbeth family was called in to stop the invasion of the alt world approaching New York City. But something was different about this incursion. It wasn't a normal alt world incursion of one or two demons, it was an entire army led by their terrifying leader, the King of Despair. The King of Despair at this time was a ghost, and because of that, needed someone to host him as a vessel. He eventually found his target in the twins, William and Mary Macbeth. He made them an offer. Either he would kill both of them, or one of them would willingly sacrifice themselves to act as a vessel for the King of Despair. After some deliberation, they came to the conclusion that you know, actually, let me give you some context before we talk about what the decision was. William and Mary were born as twins in a long line of psychics. Unfortunately, due to some complications, William was given a double portion of psychic powers, taking his from Mary. Mary, growing up without psychic powers, eventually became more headstrong, outdoorsy, and more tomboyish. And William, for the most part, was kept inside to study his psychic powers. The two quickly became opposites, even giving each other the nicknames White and Black, respectively. Blood Blockade Battlefront does something different, though, that really breaks the tropes of anime. They actually gave these people a loving household. The parents genuinely loved both of their kids and wanted to see them both grow up strong. They always tried to include White, inviting her into stuff even though she felt isolated without psychic powers. And there's two main instances of this coming into play. On one occurrence, Willing was attempting to get a camera that was stolen from Mary. The bullies decide to throw the camera into the river, and William jumped in to grab the camera even though he could have just used his powers to grab it psychically. Mary is upset at William for not using his powers the ones that were taken from her. Eventually, William explains why. You see, when they were even younger, they were making mud balls and William in a tantrum destroyed Mary's mud ball that she made. I don't know what a fucking mud ball is. That just... Bear with me, please. After hers was destroyed, she just went and started making a new one, not really stopping to care. William was shocked at the emotional resolve to not get upset over a mud ball. Please, I- William didn't want to use his powers because it felt like he was handicapping himself from growing as a person. William admires his sister and wants to grow up to be as strong as her. Mary loves her family so much that she wants to do anything to protect her brother. So, flash forward, and now we're back in Hell Salem's Lot with a game of despair. The first one to accept is- I'll let you have my stupid body, but please- Please leave my sister alone! I'm begging you! Thing. The King of Despair instead decides to leverage Black's body against White, saying that he'll kill that body if White doesn't comply and work with him. I'm not gonna spoil how the rest of the series go, but man do I love these two. Their chemistry is great in the show, and how they bounce off the main character it even foils something that happened in Leonardo's past. So, in conclusion, Blood Lucky Battlefront is about characters, how they interact in a world, and how the events affect everyone. A story of people banding together for a greater cause, doing everything to help each other. It's really sweet and really touching, and you should definitely give this show a watch. As always, I've been Old Reliable, and thank you all for watching. I don't know if I'm gonna post clips anymore. I think for the most part, I want to stick to doing longer content. So I think the plan is I'm going to try to post like once or twice a week of these sort of like semi longer ish videos about sort of characters or something like that. I might post like shit posts every once in a while, but I think for the most part, kind of expect more, you know, this sort of style of things. All right. I'll be seeing you. Bye bye.